Hey Aquarius, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana live on camera. Yay me, right? So this is a reading. I have had a lot of feedback from my poor, poor, poor Aquariuses because like I said in um, a little snippet that I put out on YouTube a little while ago, the reason I don't read for Aquarius is because my daughter's Aquarius. She's Western Aquarius and Vedic Capricorn. So I don't read for those because inevitably it turns out to be her reading, right? Well, I've kind of figured out how to control that, right? What I do is I separate myself from her, okay? And I shuffle my cards and I, and, I, and I do my whole thing. And then I come back inside. I actually go in my car. If you want to know the truth, Aquarius, I go in my car. And I surround myself with just me and my energy, right? Me and my energy. And I shuffle the cards and shuffle the cards. And then I come back in and I lay out the reading, right? Because once the cards are shuffled and cut and ready to go, um, there's no change in them, right? Um, so then I come back inside and I just lay out the spread for Aquarius. So I have done that for you today because y'all have asked me to please do more Aquarius readings and um, um, how can I deny you, right? How can I deny you? So Aquarius, this is your reading. Um, this is a rather deep reading, Aquarius. Um, there is um, a lot going on inside you right now and um, we're going to talk about it, okay? We're going to talk about it and we're going to do this reading. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. This is an ener this is an energy. This is a reading for the collective energy of Aquarius, okay? It may resonate with you. It may not. But do know, either way, it's not your reading, okay? This is not a reading for you. This is a collective general reading for the sign of Aquarius. Do not make life-altering decisions based on a general tarot card reading, okay? Therefore, entertainment purposes only because everybody is different and everybody's story is different. It's a thread that's going through based on the planetary positions in the sky right now, okay? This is not your personal reading. If you'd like a personal reading, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Okay, Aquarius, let's jump into this. So, Aqua, you come into this reading with these three cards right here. You come into this reading, first card out, overwhelming emotion. You are emotionally overwhelmed right now. Emotionally overwhelmed. To the King of Cups in reverse. Not just emotionally overwhelmed, but emotionally volatile right? You are not in a good state of mind. And clarified by the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse is somebody who is, who is emotionally, um, I want to say out of control, right? Not that you're like running around like a crazy person, all out of control. But the Queen of Swords is a very angry person. The Queen of Swords is, number one, she's overly emotional. Number two, she's cold-hearted, short with her words, and the Queen of Swords in reverse hurts people, okay? I don't mean like physically hurts people, but your words are sharp, your mind is um, um, overly emotional. You're just experiencing an overwhelming situation at this particular point in this reading. It's followed by the world in reverse, seeking personal closure, okay? Seeking personal closure. There's no other way to say it. You need some kind of personal closure to handle these volatile emotions that you're having. Having. It's followed by the Six of Swords in reverse, though. This is um, carrying baggage and can't move on, okay? So this overwhelming emotion that you are experiencing, these volatile emotions, um, angry emotions that you desperately want a personal closure to are rooted in the fact that there is a lot of baggage that you can't seem to move on from Aquarius. These two cards are clarified by the Princess of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords in reverse. This Princess of Pentacles says you desperately want to manifest something new in your life desperately want to manifest something new, but you have a, a, a lack of clarity and mental chaos going on right now. Mental chaos. And it is 
drastically affecting your happiness with the sun in reverse. The sun card upright is happiness, vitality, and success. The sun card in reverse is not being very optimistic. It's affecting your happiness to the ten of Penta, ten, the ten of cups. I believe that it's affecting your home as well your relationships, the harmony that you have with other people in your life. It's its affecting everything in your life. This overly emotional state of volatility that you're in, this angry state that you're in, it's affecting not only you, but everybody in your life right now. Chariot comes through and says that you really want to take some action. You want to have the self-control, the discipline, the determination to take action to achieve success, to get yourself out of this funk that you're in, Aquarius. The magician comes in and says that you want to manifest, right? You want to manifest, but you don't know how. Okay, you want to manifest your way out of this situation. These two cards are clarified by these. These cards tell me that you want emotional stability. You want to get your emotions back in check again. You want emotional stability. You want wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. You want that so badly right now in your life. To the Eight of Cups in reverse, but you feel hopeless. You, you're just consumed with anger and hopelessness. You don't feel like you can make a transition, right? The, 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 you want badly to transition out of this funk that you're in right here, but you don't feel like it's possible because you feel hopeless. To the King of Wands, you feel hopeless to create the kind of success that you want in your life. Three of Cups tells me that you want celebration, right? You want celebration and you want reunion with those who you are alienating right now because of your emotional state. You want celebration in your life. Family, friends, community. You, you, you want this. Okay, this is in the center of your reading. You want this Three of Cups. But the Two of Swords says... That, you know, you have a lot of um, repressed emotions that you're not dealing with, that you don't know how to deal with. A lot of repressed emotions that you don't know how to deal with that keep you consistently in the energy of the Nine of Swords, keep you consistently in an energy of depression, can't sleep, intense anxiety, despair, hopelessness. in the center of your reading. That means all of this revolves around that. Eight of Wands comes in and says, Eight of Wands is about um, speed, action, movement, travel, an energetic shift, right? You want an energetic shift in your life. You don't like being like this. You don't like being depressed and hopeless and feelings of um, loss and defeat and the, the, the misalignment of values that it causes with the people in your life. You don't like being angry. You don't like being confused. And you want an energetic shift in your life. The Knight of Pentacles comes in and says that you you want to be able to plan for your future with a clear emotional state, okay? With a clear mental, a clear emotional, you want to be able to create the life that you want for yourself. The Five of Wands comes in and says that you're filled with conflict, right? Um, competition, strife, tension, conflict. Um, it's also about conflict avoidance, right? So what this card tells me is that you don't really know what is causing this for you. You don't, you can't pinpoint it. You can't put your finger on it because if you could, you'd fix it, right? But you don't know what it is. 
And the Four of Pentacles in reverse comes in and says that you are in a state of self-protection. You are in a state of, of personal, emotional, mental lockdown. Because you don't know how to bring this energetic shift into your life. You're at a loss because you don't know why you feel the way that you feel. You don't know what's making you feel this way. Again, Queen of Swords in reverse. This is somebody that is just off the hook emotionally, right? Off the hook. Not in control of their emotions in any way whatsoever. And very angry, okay? Very angry and possibly spreading some um, emotional volatility to the people around you. Ten of Cups in reverse tells me that there is a, a misalignment of values happening in your life. A misalignment of values. And that's that's what this is all about. Is, is you trying to get yourself aligned and be in cooperation with yourself. King of Cups comes in and says that you want to turn the emotional volatility into emotional security. You, you desperately want to get a handle on your emotions because you can see it unraveling your life in front of you. Justice. You want to cure an injustice. You want truth. You need truth. You're trying to find your truth, Aquarius. You're trying to find your truth. Judgment in reverse talks about ignoring the call. Okay? This is this goes right back to the five of wands, the conflict avoidance, right? You are ignoring. So at this point in the reading, something is coming through to you that explains why you're feeling the way that you're feeling, but you're ignoring the call, okay? You're ignoring what this is, whatever this is. You're like, no, no, not going to do that. Not going to go there. Not going to touch that. To the high priestess in reverse, this is secrets, okay? This judgment card in reverse, ignoring the call, to the high priestess in reverse, this is about your subconscious mind, your intuition, and your secret, okay? This judgment card says you are ignoring it. You're ignoring the call of your intuition of what it is that's really, really at the root of this queen of swords in reverse. This emotional volatility, this out of control feeling that you have. You are ignoring what is at the root of it. Ten of Wands in reverse comes in and talks about crisis, right? An absolute crisis. It also talks about an inevitable end, okay? And a fear of ruin, but it talks about an, an ending, okay? So what these three cards are telling you is that to, to get, okay, and then we have burden and struggle, right? This is burden and struggle with accomplishment at the end of it. They see this guy, this is the last leg of his struggle and he's going up a long and winding staircase carrying these golden rods, right? Gold is heavy, it's heavy. And, and there is accomplishment at the end of his journey but he's on the last leg of his journey. So what these cards are saying right here, Aquarius, is that, is that if you want justice in this situation, if you want truth and you want to, to correct an injustice and bring accountability where there was a lack of accountability, honesty where there was dishonesty, and fairness where there was unfairness, right? You want this to get justice. What you have to do is take this judgment card that says you're ignoring the call and turn it upside down to become a rebirth, a decision-making process that creates a rebirth in your life. To the high priestess, what you need to do 
is turn this secret that you're avoiding by ignoring the call. You need to turn this empress, empress, this high priestess around and listen to your intuition. Listen to what's deep down inside you that's telling you what it is that this problem is for you and how to fix it. Take this Ten of Swords that represents an ending to this. This is what this is telling you. It's telling you if you will do this, there will be an end to your issues. There will be an end to your burden and struggle. And there will be accomplishment at the end of this journey. Okay? So your key here, Aquarius, is to get justice for yourself. You need to answer the call and go into your intuition and your subconscious mind and dig down to see what the root of all of this is. And your intuition will tell you. If you listen, listen, your intuition will tell you what it is that you need to cure in this situation. And you will have a rebirth in your life that will bring justice to the situation. And it will help you. It will be the catalyst for you to pull out of this depressive funk that you're in right here, Aquarius. And lo and behold, there's the hangman in reverse. This hangman is about resistance to change. Okay? Resistance to change. What you need to do with this high priestess is you need to get to the root of what it is that is causing this problem for you. And you need to turn this from resistance to change into pausing, processing, accepting what is and coming out on the other side with a new perspective. That's what you need to do. I mean, it doesn't get any clearer. The cards are telling you what you can do to alleviate this burden and this struggle that you have. When you do that, Aquarius, when you do that, You will be put into the energy of the Princess of Swords. This is... This is someone that is making a decision-making... Creating a decision-making process. This person right here, this, this Princess of Swords, is formulating a plan. Okay? She's formulating a plan. Remember, coming out of a resistance to change into pausing, surrendering, accepting, and coming out on the other side with a new perspective. Formulating a decision-making process in that hangman energy. To the three of wands in reverse. This is obstacles to your long-term goals. Obstacles to your long-term goals. Reverse this and make it about preparing for your future. To the Five of Cups. This is feelings of despair, disappointment, loss, regret, bereavement, right? You are mourning something in your life, Aquarius. That is the root of all of this, is that you are locked into feelings of despair, regret, disappointment, bereavement, being sad. You're locked into this right here. Whoa. Two of Wands in reverse comes in and talks to us about um, fear of the unknown, right? Fear of the unknown. Turn it around 
into planning for your future. The Nine of Wands in reverse. This is being defensive, hesitant, unedged, paranoid, right? Super defensive about whatever this is. Whatever this is for you, Aquarius, that, that leaves you in the Five of Cups, the feelings of despair and disappointment. On edge, hesitant, defensive, right? Turn it around. This is somebody who's persistent. This is somebody who's willing to fight for what they want. To the Eight of Pentacles, engage, gain mastery of it, right? Once you deal with all of those cards we just talked about, you're going to be able to engage with your life. You're going to be able to gain mastery of, of your dominion, right? Gaining mastery of yourself, of your feelings, of your emotions, of your life. To the Four of Swords, this is going to bring, bring peace, rest, and recuperation into this whole, I want to say horrific mental battle that you're having right now. To the Six of Wands, in reverse, this is a card about a fall from grace and disrepute. I think you see yourself in a state of disrepute. Disrepute means that you're just disgusted. Right? You're just disgusted. Somebody is in a state of disrepute. It's just like, ugh, just don't even bring that over here. Don't want to have anything to do with it. Right? And this is either the crux of your feelings of despair, or this is this is this is the crux of your feelings of disrespair. Dis <laughs> despair. But Aquarius, this is either you feeling this way about yourself. Or you feeling this way about somebody else in your life? To the Three of Cups in reverse. This is about a creative block. This is about not being able to grab a hold of feelings of celebration and, and reuniting the um, fractured thing that's going on here, Aquarius, right? So you're in a state of disrepute and you're, you have a creative block. You can't create anything in your life because you're, you're held prisoner in these feelings. Nice. Death. Death in reverse comes in and says, inner purging and a personal transformation. So at this point in the reading, you have processed all of these feelings. Each one of these cards is an emotional, physical, or mental process. You have processed, and now you're going to begin purging, Aquarius, purging to create a personal transformation. King of Swords in reverse comes in. This King of Swords in reverse, he is tyrannical and angry and, and abusive in his words, sometimes in his actions, right? This inner purging right here is going to turn this tyrannical, abusive, angry energy into somebody who is intellectually in control, mentally in control of themselves, somebody who is able and willing to not only make decisions, but execute decisions in their life. Inner purging is going to transform your anger into control. Once you do this, Aquarius, you will have teamwork and collaboration in your life. You will not be alienating people. You will create um, teamwork and collaboration.
victory, progress, success. Success. The king of wands, right? This is the king of passion. The king of fire. You're going to get your mojo back. You're going to be feeling good again. Try and remember how these came out. Yeah. <laughs> the star, the card of Aquarius. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal, spirituality. Aquarius, it's coming back for you, but you have to deal with whatever the root of all of this is, this despair, this bereavement, this holding on to things that have happened to you in the past. There's hope and there's faith and there's purpose in your life. And things are renewed over and over and over again. This is the card of Aquarius. Because this is at the root of who you are, Aquarius. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal, and spirituality. Eight, eight, of, um, <clears throat> eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is about lacking ambition or focus, right? Lacking ambition or focus. But this star card says if you can get a handle on who you are, do this inner purging, have this personal transformation, and this lack of ambition and focus is going to turn into working on it, working it out, and gaining mastery of it. The Wheel of Fortune. There will be a turning point. There will be a turning point in your life. There will be a turning point in your destiny. Things will turn for you, Aquarius. They will turn for you. They will. This card promises it. It will turn around. A new beginning and a new journey is on your horizon. A brand new beginning, a brand new journey because you've done the inner purging of the death card and you've gone through a personal transformation. You've come to terms with the anger and the emotional volatility the despair, the depression, the torment. You're coming to terms with it. You're purging it out of your life and you are having a personal transformation that is going to bring you hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your life. And it's going to set you on a new journey with a new beginning. The King of Pentacles. This is about power, control, stability, ambition, focus, long-term goals. This is the energy that is waiting for you, Aquarius. It's waiting for you. And last but not least, the Six of Cups. This is a card about reconciling your differences with yourself, with the people around you, family, friends, reconciling differences and reuniting coming together, reuniting the fracture in your feelings and in your emotions and reuniting with the people in your life because, because nobody, I hate to say this Aquarius, but nobody wants to be around the Queen of Swords in reverse. She's rough. She's a rough energy to be around. Nobody wants to be around this and I'm sure you well know. Because if you walk around as the Queen of Swords in reverse, you're going to repel people all over the place. Nobody wants to be around the Queen of Swords in reverse. Reuniting and reconciling with yourself and with everybody around you after doing some inner purging and a personal transformation. And you may have to speak your mind with this Queen of Swords in reverse. You may have to speak your mind to be able to rectify the root of whatever this is for you. But you need to come back and you need to reunite and reconcile with those who perhaps you have called out, those who you have expressed yourself to in a not healthy kind of way. But there will be mending, there will be healing, there will be reuniting and reconciling in yourself and in your life and with the people around you. There you go, Aquarius. That is your reading. That is your reading. And honestly, I hope it doesn't resonate. <laughs> I 
I hope it doesn't because this is a very, very heavy and intense place to be. But you have to know that there is hope, faith, purpose, and renewal for you. There is. There is. But you have to reach down into your intuition and dig deep and deal with those buried secrets that you have. Those things that keep you from being. Look what your oracle card is. The secret. Wow. Let's read about that. You got to deal with it, Aquarius. You have to deal with it. As painful as it may be, you have to deal with it. The secret. Someone will soon confide in you and the information they divulge may shock or disturb you. You may feel, feel torn between the loyalties you have for two people and this creates a dilemma for you. Perhaps it's the loyalty between yourself and those around you. Or perhaps it's loyalty because when you dig deep and you do some inner purging, you have to say some things to some people that might not sit well. Okay? Ultimately, you must be true to yourself, for only in doing so can you be true to others. Revealing the truth will definitely cause upheaval, but eventually as things settle down, your honesty and courage will be appreciated. Don't dwell on the feelings of guilt. Express what is in your heart, for a hidden blessing is in store for all. As a result of the coming events, both you and others will feel a sense of relief. There are positive results for all concerned. However, these can only be actualized through courage and love. That's, I'm going to read this again. This is important. This is, sums up this entire reading right here, Aquarius. The secret. Someone will soon confide in, you, confide in you the information, and the information they divulge may shock or disturb you. You may feel torn between the loyalties you have for two people, and this creates a dilemma for you. What is the right thing to do? Should you divulge information or stay silent? In your heart you will know. Ultimately you must be true to yourself, for only in doing so can you be true to others. Revealing the truth will definitely cause upheaval. But eventually as things settles down, settle down, your honesty and courage will be appreciated. Don't dwell on feelings of guilt. Express what is in your heart, for a hidden blessing is in store for all. As a result of the coming events, both of you, both you and others will feel a sense of relief. There are positive results for all concerned. However, these can only be actualized through courage and love. There you go. That's your card. The secret. That's amazing, Aquarius. That's amazing. That's amazing. There you go. That's your reading. Um, I hope it helped. I hope you resonated. Hope you didn't resonate. You know, all of that. Uh, double-sided kind of stuff there. There you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Namaste.